Ladies and gentlemen, you see, as you can see on this video, you are seeing the picture of Chief uh, Lucky Nosahai Igbinidion. And of course, you are seeing the picture of Godwin Noregase Obaseki. I was in a live debate yesterday, and somebody, you know, addressed me or cautioned me not to say that uh, Godwin Obaseki did not do anything in Edo State. That Governor Godwin Obaseki has done a lot in Edo State. And I tried to ask him, what are the legacy projects Governor Obaseki did in Edo? Something new he brought to Edo. And they could not mention anything apart from the shop right, which is also a partnership, Jara, which is also a partnership you know, Bubu Yeye project. Then I said, and I made it categorically clear that if the PDP supporters and the Obaseki supporters are saying that nobody have the moral justification to say Obaseki did not do anything, then Edo people hold Lucky Binadion an apology. I stand to be corrected. If you say that uh, Obaseki did a lot that nobody has the moral right to say he has not done anything in the do. Then a do people hold lucky binadion an apology. Why did I say so? From what I can remember so far, when lucky binadion was in power, Bender Bury was working in Edo. A do, flower mill was working in Edo. Uh, the the bridge, upper mission extension bridge. I think Lucky Minadion initiated that project. Lucky Minadion brought College of Agric. Igoriaki is the one that brought that institution. Lucky Minadion is the one that brought College of Education. Igwebe is the one that brought that institution. Lucky Minadion, uh, uh, this uh, nursing school in uh, Dumez Road, so at those state school of health or what have you, during the time of Lucky Minadion, that school received a lot of uh, attention if i am not mistaken during the time of lucky Binadion, people were promoted as at when due in the civil service and of course lucky Binadion recruited a lot of civil service uh, a lot of civil servants he employed a lot of people in the civil service in the do state the only uh, challenges that was affecting lucky Binadion administration is there was no social media at that time to be talking as we are talking now. Then too, some of our musicians, we are always at him. Road rehabilitation. He did not do well in road rehabilitation. But he still did some road. Although, then, uh, what do they call it? During the like, Canadian time, standard of living was a very, 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 was very, very good for people. This hardship where they did the, the country now, it was never like that. The economy was balanced. People could feed, people could eat. As a matter of fact, during the time of Lucky Binadion, when you leave primary school in any of the government uh, uh, primary school, when you write your common entrance exam, there is a system they brought. Your name will come out in, in a secondary school. You will go to that secondary school and verify if your name is there. Then they will admit you. I think that was the way it used to be. The system was good. During Lucky Binadion time, there were, uh, there were times they shared free... Uh, school materials for people, notebooks, barrel, textbooks, and what have you. They will put a stamp on it. This material is not to be sold. We saw those things. And yet, we, the people of Edo, said Lucky Binadion did not do anything. Then we have Wabaseki now, who has practically done nothing. Rather than, good for him though renovated some of the things he met on ground from Ogbemudi administration, renovated some of the things he met from ground from Lucky Binadion administration, and so on and so forth. But the question is, if Lucky Binadion, Ogbemudi, Oshomole, Abrusali, that have been governor before, if they did not put all these things in place, will he see them to renovate? Am I against maintenance culture? No. I'm not against maintenance culture. But we must understand that cost of maintenance cannot be as much as cost of, you know, a fresh project. Let's tell ourselves the truth 
in a do state. And I will ask this question. What is the legacy project of Godwin Obaseki? That when he leaves office today, we will say it was during the time of Obaseki, this thing came to Edo. What is it? Oshomo Power, Obubu Yeye. Uh, what they call it? Azura Power, Obubu Yeye. Uh, which other one? Ethanol Processing Factory, they did Obubu Yeye. And so on and so forth. I just pray, may God give us understanding. 